we're driving north of downtown Los Angeles, heading towards San Francisco. It's a journey of about 380 miles. If you do it non-stop, sticking to the speed limit, it'll take about six hours. But in the not too distant future, Californians may have an opportunity without getting on a plane to make the trip in a lot less time. Nearly three times as fast, California is preparing to build a high-speed rail system that would carry passengers between the state's big cities at speeds of up to 220 miles an hour. Why is high-speed rail a good idea for California? We can't build enough freeways to accommodate for all of the future growth of this state. And the same thing's true with uh, airlines. You can't build enough air capacity in the state to cover all the demands of Californians. Our drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco began at 7.45 in the morning. We made two brief stops, ran into a little traffic, and arrived at 5 past 2 in the afternoon, more than six hours later. What you're seeing is that entire journey at about 15,000 times normal speed. To show the difference with a high-speed rail ride, here's the trip again, three times as fast. How much is this going to cost and how much more do you, do you still need to raise? The whole project in phase one from Anaheim through Los Angeles through the Central Valley on to San Francisco, that is a 42 plus billion dollar project. That's a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot of money. So far, more than 12 billion dollars in state and federal money has been set aside to build the first sections of track. Supporters say that will create about half a million jobs, improve air pollution and ease freeway and airport congestion. But critics say the high price of high-speed rail will never pay off. The plan for the high-speed rail in California right now requires, in order to work, that it be the fastest train ever built in the world, the most cost-effective train built in the world, and have the highest ridership of any high-speed train in the world. And more that's than not Europe. realistic? No, more than <laughs> Europe, more than Japan, more than China. That's, that's crazy. The line is supposed to come through here. We've got a narrow canyon. Like you said, there's a road, there's an existing rail line, there's a freeway, and then there's the hills on both sides, and they've got to put the line through all this. And that's going to require tunnels and elevated structures and lots of things. Things like the possible demolition of at least 25 newly built homes here in Buena Park. Given all the challenges, some say the money would be better spent simply widening California's notoriously clogged freeways. But now that we've completed our more than six-hour trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco, the idea of doing the same trip on a high-speed train, but in less time than it would take to drive to the airport in Los Angeles, hop on a plane, and then take a taxi here to San Francisco, certainly sounds appealing. Casey Wyan, CNN, San Francisco.